story of the Houses battle from the perspective of the Blue Lion. It's finally time for the mock battle. I'm eager to put my skills to you. You're going to start this fight at the bottom of the map. And you're going to note that the Black Eagle house will be in the upper right corner. And the Golden Deer house will be in the upper left corner. Do note that currently Claude and Hilda are behind two walls. Now let's get this battle started. Obviously the victory conditions, we have to take out every single enemy. And the defeat conditions is all of our units fall. I'm sure you already understand. Now, always get a feel of where your enemies can strike. Now this is important because the Blue Lions is a primarily weapons-based class where they specialize in up-close battle. Now, I say that, and you might say, well, Mercedes and Ash have bows, but Mercedes is your healer, while Ash will always be your your offensive archer. Every class has one of each. The Golden Deer specialize in long-range attacks, but Lorenz has a spear. The Black Eagles specialize in magic, but again, Ferdinand has a spear, and Edelgard has a giant axe. To start us off, I'm going to bait units as per usual. Gonna put Ash behind a support. I'll cut through. Meet you to the side. What should I do? To do. And Mercedes. None of your shallow attack. Me? Are you making Dorothea? Will you head toward the front lines? I wish you got it, Aidy. Ferdinand, Hubert. Leave it to us. <laughs> Clearly not. Now, Lorenz is going to take the bait, and Byleth is pretty much going to just sweep it for now. With this, I can now, hopefully, take out Lorenz with Ash's arm attack. And swing in. Each battle, a chance to grow. Take people out one at a time. There's no point overextending. Your units are not that strong in the early game, so everybody back off. Well done, team. It should come as no surprise that Dorothea and Ignaz will represent the best of their, what their class has to offer. But that being said, archers Thank you. do not take physical attacks well. And also, being a mage... Well, let's just say Dorothea is not going to respond too well to an up-close and personal attack. Do also, again, pay attention to the, the combat forecast. That's very important. Never stops being important, either. Now, I'm actually going to take out Ignaz first. Because he's significantly easier to take out. Probably should have used something stronger. Oh, well. Not the point. Dimitri's going to take a bit of damage from that, but no worries, I'll have Ash finish off Dorothea. It seems now Ignatz will move forward, but now I'll have to do finish clean up after. Or not. Perhaps I overestimated the man. I've lost. Over already. I must keep Now do note that your heals are limited and Mercedes only has a few. I'm playing rather conservatively, but notice that I've already taken down three of the black three opponents, two from the Golden Deer House, and one from the Black Eagles, and not much has been left. 
Now again, I'm just going to have to bait them out. I'm going to lure, lure out Hubert by going into the forest where I'll get a bit of protection. As backup, I'll have Dudu and Dimitri and Mercedes at the side. Are you really going to fight two out? Victory is in sight, Black. So Edelgard says, but you take things slowly. Now I want to point out something very important. And there's a reason I'm pointing this out. If you tried to attack Claude and Hilda before, the only place you were going to get to them was by smashing these walls. And that would have let them pick you off with their training bow and hand axe respectively. Now that they're moving out, it'll be a lot easier to take care of them. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to take out Hubert. Now, I'm actually going to have Dimitri come in here, use a Vulnery to bring himself back up. I'm gonna have Mercedes heal the Professor one more time. And now, take out Ferdinand. Gonna be a bit more harsh for Ferdinand, so I'm gonna use a combat arc. Such power. Edelgard went straight to the doom, and Ferdinand has just decided to just charge. And, well, it didn't end in his paper, let's just put it that way. So now all we have is Edelgard, and Edelgard won't do very well. Now that Ash. She can't respond to Ash's attacks. I'm actually going to heal to do. Yeah. But also keep him out. Proceed with caution. Dudu is going to deal the final blow to Edelgard. Gain some experience. I will handle it. Forced to retreat. Now, once again, I'm going to have D Dimitri and Byleth wait in the shadows. I'm going to let the units come to me instead of the other way around. The do now needs to use a Vulnery because Mercedes can't heal that much. And it's time. Your princeliness. Got a thing for Edelgard, right? Cloth, please. This that didn't get to him, huh? It's a lot easier to get to Claude because Claude coming up with brilliant schemes. I can handle. You know that was can't actually fight back. So it was better for them to come to you rather than it was for you rather than you go to them. All do if that made any I sense. Hate losing. Hilda, despite having axes, has a hand axe, which is a ranged axe. Now, we're forcing Manuela out into the open, but still no big deal here. Let's see if a combat art might help. Nope, it won't make much of a difference. So we're just going to have to rely on hope on some hopeful attacks. All right, Hanneman is weak. Let's take out. Hmm. What should I do? Let's see. I'm actually going to have them hide in the forest. Do 
use caution. Up. And I'll actually have Ash take a Hilda. And I will distract Manuela with an arrow. Mercedes. Mercedes can fight. All magicians can to an extent. To an extent. Thank goodness that happened. Well, Dazu would have probably survived, but I I really didn't look out on that. Anyway, time to give Ash another experience point. Provided he hits, makes the shot. Oh, looks like he barely made it. Proceed with caution. Too risky. I'll call him Byleth to finish it. No! My goodness, as expected. Hey, you didn't compliment me like that when my class won last year. Right. The do is in a bit of a pickle. He'll use an old vulnerary. Vulner. Vulner. Vulnerary. However you pronounce it. Help Dimitri get closer to Manuela. He's not gonna survive another round. So I'll use Mercedes' last heal on Dimitri. Now Mar Manuela's Nosferatu will allow her to drag things out, but she can't use it too long because, well, I'll cut through. I'm gonna be all Honest, the, uh, there's one obvious drawback, and that's that your all magic has limited uses. Well I had just to do finish her off because mages shouldn't be out in the open. All right, that's that. The blue lion this and that's the blue artwork. lion's Thank victory. So that is the rivalry of the houses fight from the perspective of the blue lions. You're just gonna have to gang up on units. Be aware of your strengths, which is obviously your combat with weapons and swords, axes, and lances, although you don't see any lances right now. Gang up on the units, proceed up slowly, and that then you'll have the victory that you seek. Just don't rush Claude, don't rush Edelgard either. That is this walkthrough in a nutshell. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.